It was six men of Hindustan, to learning much inclined, who went to see the elephant, though all of them were blind, that each by observation might satisfy his mind. The first approached the elephant, and happening to fall against his broad and sturdy side, at once began to bawl. God bless me, but the elephant is very like a wall. The second, feeling of the tusk, cried. Ho, oh, what have we here? So very round and smooth and sharp. To meet his mighty clear, this wonder of an elephant is very like a spear. The third approached the animal and happening to take the squirming trunk within his hands. Thus boldly up and spake. I see, quoth he, the elephant is very like a snake. The fourth reached out an eager hand and felt about the knee. What most this wondrous beast is like is mighty plain, quoth he. Tis clear enough the elephant is very like a tree. The fifth who chanced to touch the ear said, Even the blindest man can tell what this resembles most. Deny the fact who can, this marvel of an elephant is very like a fan. The sixth no sooner had begun about the beast to grope, than seizing on the swinging tail that fell within his scope, I see, quoth he, the elephant is very like a rope. And so these men of Hindustan disputed loud and long, each in his own opinion exceeding stiff and strong. Though each was partly in the right, and all were in the wrong. What can we learn from this parable? Please note down for yourself and then discuss with the rest of your group. The six men in this parable perceive the elephant in six different ways. Each perspective, though valid in its own way, is only a part of the whole elephant. The understanding of the elephant remains restricted to their individual perceptions and they do not open themselves to the reality that the elephant actually is. Even if they were aware of the fact that such a reality existed, they would be restricted by their individual perceptive abilities. Even in real life situations, such as in teams, it is difficult for people to have the same perception of matter at a given point of time. One cannot know what the other one is looking through. We need to recognize that human perception and cognition are limited and hence blind spots are unavoidable in most of our daily interactions. At any given point of time, each one of us is looking through the lenses of a belief system based on our individual worldview, which in turn is a result of different motivations, drives, prejudices, our experiences in life and other factors. Perception is therefore selective, situational, subjective and individually unique. There can be no absolute or perfect truth as each person is the creator of his or her own individual subjective reality and can choose what he or she wants to see and value. Others can serve as a mirror and complete the self. We might start seeing aspects of our own personality and beliefs reflected in our perception of others. This requires a certain degree of openness, the ability to listen, roll distance, being mindful, reflect and introspect, to understand, to be flexible, the willingness or generosity to accept that there could be more than one what meets the eye or what one believes in, and to adapt oneself as and when required. However drastically different somebody else's perspective might be from our own, instead of immediately dismissing it, we can patiently try to understand the hunger, the need and the space they might be coming from. We can try putting ourselves into the other person's shoes even if it might require a bit of an extra effort on our part to do so. If each of the six men opened their eyes to the fact that multiple perspectives could be valid, they could come up with ideas to work more effectively by combining their energies. For instance, 
each of them could go around the elephant to the remaining five men and try touching the parts of the elephant which the other five have discovered. In time, all six would be in a position to get a much more representative picture of the elephant. All of us can similarly learn to be inclusive by appreciating diversity and uniqueness. By being open to alternatives, allowing ourselves to understand, embrace and assimilate the unknown, we might end up being surprised at the opportunities this could open up for us.